in America and in the Western world in general, one of the highest ideals is freedom. People can make their own choices. They are not compelled to do anything. And this is a Judeo-Christian idea. God has created us as beings with free will. This is one of the characteristics of God's image in us. There was a bishop at the seminary that I attended in Boston. He made an interesting observation. He said, we really only have one essential choice in life, and that is who we will make our master. Christ talks about this. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve God and riches. Whoever it is that we place our hope in, our hope of peace and wisdom and meaning in life, we serve this one. We give this one our time and our resources, our attention. So in a sense, there really aren't any do whatever I want kind of choices, but we always make choices towards that one whom we believe will give our life ultimate meaning and purpose. So we have to be very careful then of the choice that we make. Which way are we going to walk? The way of Christ, who is the true Lord and Master? And that's why this was such an important confession in the Gospels. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the one who legitimately, authentically is in charge. Or the way of the devil, who is simply the Lord of lies and nothing else. In ancient Christianity, they framed life like this often, the way of life or the way of death, the way of light or the way of darkness. Ultimately, there's only one of two trajectories that we are going to take. One is going to nurture us in our life, in our spiritual healing, in our journey to God, and one is going to snuff the life out of us. So we need to be very careful and make wise decisions about how we will exercise this one ultimate choice upon which we will build every other choice that we make. But either way, the road is not forced upon us. It is ours to willfully embrace. Thanks for listening to this episode of my podcast. If you'd like to learn more about Eastern Orthodox Christianity, but aren't near an Orthodox church, you might be interested in the Fellowship of St. Theophon the Recluse, an online community for seekers and inquirers all in that same situation. We have members in the U.S., Latin America, the British Isles, Africa, and Australia. For more information, message me or send me an email. Until next time, take care and God bless.